Maybe you've seen a couple of my other videos and you notice that this guy's wearing the same clothes in every video. If you have been watching multiple videos, first of all, thank you, I love you. But yeah, I mean, I got two kids and stuff. I got, I got a bulk record here, so please don't hold it against me. Today's sneaker is a new colorway of one that I just covered a couple weeks ago. And that colorway that I already reviewed, in my opinion, I think is going to go down as one of the biggest sleepers of 2022. It's already kind of happening. It was kind of like a GR release-ish and people just kind of saw it, maybe didn't think anything of it, but then a lot of us started getting it in hand, taking a chance on it, and it was like, oh my, this is something special. And we should have known better because it is a historic and iconic sneaker from Nike's history, really the world's first cross trainer. Today we are talking about the Nike Air Trainer 1 in the dark smoke gray colorway. And if the coriander colorway, which is the one I was talking about before, was a little too much for you, May I present this for your consideration? Before we get into it though, let's first take a closer look. All right guys, welcome back. And now that you've seen a closer look of these bad boys right here, welcome, my name is Steve. If you are new here, consider joining the fam and also check the links down in the description below. I got links to cop these bad boys from eBay. Authenticity is guaranteed, although if there are some retail links, I will have those linked down as well because this thing did sell well, but I'm not sure if it's sold out but I think the hype is just building for this sneaker because of the aforementioned colorway, the Corianders that we already talked about on this channel, which will be linked for you at the end to check out if you haven't seen that already, leading us right into this one. Now the Air Trainer 1, like I said earlier, is the, the world's first cross trainer. And of course it was designed by the God himself, Tinker Hatfield. And he kind of got the inspiration to make a sneaker like this when he noticed that people were going to the gym and wearing different shoes for cardio and weightlifting. And he wanted to figure out if there was a way to create like a high hybrid type sneaker that could do both enter the air trainer one enter the cross trainer and like a whole new genre of athletic shoe was born and you have this shoe to think now this isn't exactly the same as the original nike air trainer ones this one just like the coriander colorway have a little bit more of a utility feel to them so they've added some different elements like for instance the iconic velcro strap of the regular nike air trainer one is not here anymore you get this clip again much more kind of utility uh, maybe more rugged maybe more outdoorsy which I'm here for. I dig the aesthetic. There are other subtle differences in this sneaker as well that differ from the OG version, but that doesn't make this any less. I think this makes this very dope and very modern. One of the really, really dope things about this shoe, and it's present on the coriander colorway as well, and it's something that I feel like I haven't seen much at all in other Nike sneakers, is this piece right here. This middle panel piece has a color changing type of effect to it. Like this one looks very silver, and then you can see little touches of yellow and maybe even some green back there. Now it could be little reflections of the midsole, but I, I don't think, I, I think there's actually some, maybe some different color fabrics back there. And this is a little semi-translucent. Whatever the case, when you rotate it through the light, it looks so dope. It's just kind of changing, kind of like that chameleon style paint that you see on cars. I love this touch. It's just the kind of thing that takes this shoe to the next level. And speaking of next level, let's talk about the materials and the overlays. And there's just, there's so much happening here. Like you have multiple different types of materials and patterns happening. Just going from the mud guard to the toe box up to the laces here. You've got perforated canvas on the toe box around the mud guard here and along these other overlays. It feels like a new buck suede type of material, nice and durable, easy to clean, all that good stuff. There's not a lot of leather at all until you get back here on the heel counter in which it's very beautifully done. And it could be a synthetic leather though. It feels really nice and very soft. There's some cool perforation details around the heel counter as well. You've got the Nike Air popping off there. You've got little Nike swooshes here. And these little kind of like technical looking pieces kind of gives it the feeling of a runner. Like these designs right here, immediately made me think of like ASICs for some reason. And that, that kind of lends into what the shoe was built for, right? To run and to lift, to do all of your gym things. So little runner inspiration happening there. Nike swoosh coming through again, that color changing really dope underlay there behind the Nike swoosh. And then you get a very rugged looking lace system set up here. So the lacing system running underneath, they're all covered up by this very thick canvas pull tab that's kind of just connected and going all the way up to the top there and kind of hides the tongue. The tongue has some nice colors to it. It's like a darker gray tongue, rip stop 
floppy material on the front and back, nice and padded, nice and cushioned. Definitely going to make for a comfortable fit, and that's what you get with this sneaker. It is very comfortable. I mean, look at this outsole. This bad boy is nice and wide, and that's by design, giving you a nice stable platform to do your workouts in, right? Also giving you a little bit of Nike Air in there, like encapsulated air maybe, nothing crazy, because remember this shoe came out a very long time ago. It's one of the first cross trainers, so you're not going to get that large, crazy, bouncy Nike Air that we've come accustomed to now, but there's enough in there for you to do some comfortable runs, nothing crazy or long distance. But really though, I think most people are going to be rocking this as a casual shoe anyway, so for your everyday use, this thing is fan fantastic nice stable wide platform gonna keep you comfortable gonna keep you protected gonna keep you dry but most importantly you're gonna be looking pretty darn good and even though it is a darker colorway I think this little pop right here in the midsole and then like the lighter touches with the Nike swoosh is going to allow you to transition this right into the summer and just go and just do your thing I think one of the trends for the summertime is there's definitely gonna be a little bit of an emphasis on retro shoes more or less I think retro low-cut shoes but you can go a little avant-garde you can keep with the retro trend but go with something like this this then not everybody's going to have because it's easy just to say oh retro is a trend all right go buy some kill shots this perhaps is a shoe that the more discerning sneakerhead would choose to play into the retro runner trend that may be or may not be happening summer of 2022 i don't know i guess we'll find out in a month or so obviously you've seen the coriander review pop up here for you to check out also another dope review for you to peep as well and if you haven't yet joined the fam over there i very much appreciate each and every last one of you you guys are what makes the sneaker channel great i love you and appreciate you hope you have a good day, good evening, good night whenever you're watching this, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.